Hello again, YouTubers. Ultimate SpongeBob 101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel for our review of episode 24 of Camp Coral. I have the hot dog and Patrick takes the cake. The synopsis states Craig Mamilton learns what it's like not to be the best at something. Also, Patrick and a cake hide out in the wilderness. Let's begin. I have the hot dog has a fresh new style in the form of a news program slash documentary slash interview focusing on Craig Mamilton. Again, it's great that they're slowly giving more and more secondary characters some focus. Having Perch Perkins be narrator was also a plus. The episode begins with an introduction of Craig as a very successful athletic character who always comes up on top until he enters into a hot dog eating competition at camp with Spongebob and Patrick taking part as well. Also nice to see more backstory between Larry and Craig. Seems like Craig managed to easily overtake Larry once he came onto the scene. While Craig and Spongebob are super close in the hot dog eating, Spongebob fails to swallow the hot dogs and chokes them all up, all of which end up falling into Patrick's mouth, so Patrick immediately swallows them before the timer stops, giving him the win. Craig is presented with a second place trophy but even seizes the first place one on the assumption that he won both. How anyone could think that's possible ain't thinking at all. But anyways, faced with his loss, Craig enters a state of depression and even decides to camp underneath the outhouse so he wants random people's waist to be falling on his head. Spongebob manages to cheer him up and then we get an uplifting montage of his frigate cabin mates helping him train his stomach in preparation for the next hot dog competition. Once again sponsored by Krabs who just has too many navy surplus hot dogs for some reason. Eventually Craig is ready to take Patrick head on and after a shaking of hands Craig and Patrick are now in heated competition to eat as many hot dogs as possible while Chovy and Harvey are left in the dust. Plankton is in charge of serving up the hot dogs and once they run out he notices the very interesting fine print on the crates. Do not use after July 28, 12.09 p.m. Which just happens to be the exact moment he looks at his Planklex watch. So that's a play on Rolex, right? The hot dogs immediately rot and everyone, even Patrick, starts choking them up in epic fashion. Craig, however, manages to hold it in long enough and even eat one more rotten hot dog, winning him the competition, before likewise blasting out of those putrid hot dogs. So things get even stranger when everyone else starts choking up the rotten hot dogs, even though they were not eating it. So I'm not sure if this is a hit on how bad MRE meals are supposed to be, but Krabs manages to salvage the situation by spray painting some rotten hot dogs golden and presenting them as participation trophies. So Craig has regained his self-confidence and I'd say the moral of the story is adversity affects even the most successful folks, but everyone can overcome it if they're determined to do so. The plot gets 9 out of 10. Again, I really like the format of the episode, the focus on Craig, the use of the hot dog competition as a formidable challenge for a very athletic Craig, and Patrick just being Patrick was awesome to see as usual. True randomness in the form of everyone choking up rotten hot dogs is probably in the spirit of Spongebob generally. I mean, we see a lot more of that kind of thing in Patrick's Star show, but you know, we've got it here too. Animation gets 9 out of 10 as well. We got to see tons of great scenes ranging from Larry's achievements, the campers cheering, especially those with the Spongebob foam hands. They probably should make that into a real product. Craig being broken, the kid urgently needing to use the loo, and the whole training sequence. Also, the Craig-Patrick rivalry was not something I was expecting from this episode, but was really cool. Unique characteristics gets 8 out of 10. I'd say the most unique thing about this episode has to be the documentary style, and I'd love to see more of Perch Perkins in this series. Overall, Eye of the Hot Dog gets 26 out of 30 from me. Next up, we have Patrick Takes the Cake. This one was both somewhat fun and a bit strange for me since the bulk of it involves Patrick talking to a cake and trying to protect it from his friends. It begins with mail call at camp where everyone is getting something except Patrick. I really like the detail given to the items various characters were getting. Probably the most cringy was Bubble Bass's Nerd Teen magazine, which was featuring him with a scratch and sniff portion. Err, no thanks. Anyways, Patrick begs the mailman for some mail and he gets an unlabeled cake, which everyone soon wants a piece off. I'm personally not a fan of cake, so I can't relate though. He runs off into the woods with SpongeBob, Sandy, Bubble Bass, and Kevin hot on his heels, and he soon falls off a cliff. 
Now, this wouldn't be the first time that happens. Some forest debris lands on a cake and somehow it comes to life, even asking Patrick to avoid eating it and instead get a snack from the random dirt vending machine in the middle of the woods. So I like the vending machine though, that's pretty cool. Meanwhile, Spongebob and the rest have lost track of Patrick, but Bubble Basses convinces them to think just like Patrick in order to find him. Patrick, on the other hand, soon finds himself between the sky and the ground and the cliff being behind him, and he falls into the ravine to the horror of Spongebob and the rest who just manage to catch up to him. Patrick then goes on the offensive, being egged on by the cake, and as night falls, he decides to scare Spongebob, Sandy, Bubble Bass, and Kevin away. But what we then get is a series of scenes where Patrick is downright destroyed thanks to him falling into his own traps. Talk about a plan going horribly wrong. Eventually, Bubble Bass, Kevin, and Sandy get their hands on the cake. But after the adventures through the woods, it looks far less appealing and they just decide to not eat it and just go back to camp. The cake then has a change of heart, or does it, and convinces Patrick to share it with the rest of the campers. So Patrick goes on a sudden wild rampage to stuff pieces of the yucky cake into the mouths of random campers. Thankfully, the mailman returns and collects the remnants of the cake, instead leaving Patrick with a pie that likewise appears to be alive. The plot is weird. I tried to read between the lines here and I think it just goes to show Patrick's naive nature. Perhaps the cake had a malicious intention and wanted to become gross before being served to the kids. It seemed like the cake even being able to talk was also just Patrick's imagination, as suggested by one of the campers asking Spongebob what Patrick was even doing talking to the cake. It felt like the writers didn't want to go all the way and have the cake actually be alive and be cursed or something, hence why the mailman was trying to take it back at the end, but you know, we can speculate. Plot gets 6 out of 10. Animation, on the other hand, gets 8 out of 10. Again, the detail given to what the campers were receiving as part of the mail was great. Plus, Patrick's wild antics were just wild, okay? It was really wild. And in line with the random crazy stuff and expressions that Patrick has had throughout this Cam Coral series, or probably even wilder, the part where Patrick broke his butt also reminded me of Suction Cup Symphony from Season 6, and I like the use of the sea bunny and urchins too. Unique characteristics get 7 out of 10. The idea of Patrick having weird personal adventures is okay, it's nice, but I thought it could have gone a bit further rather than just resulting in a conclusion where they just go home and everything's fine. Or is it? <laughs> yeah, so kind of a little cliffhanger, but didn't have that real kind of ending that I was hoping for. Overall, Patrick Takes the Cake gets 21 out of 30 from me. So that's our review for these two episodes. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about both of them. Make sure to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys again in the next SpongeBob video coming real soon. Till then, bye!